May you abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Using these powerful decrees of prosperity, you will be able to quickly enter the frequency of wealth to be able to manifest it in your life. Be sure to watch this video every day to align with the energy of money so you can attract large amounts of money. Let's begin with these powerful decrees. Today I decide to open my mind to wealth and have a full life. Every time I repeat these powerful decrees, I will be showered with financial blessings. I choose to receive all the blessings God has in store for me, no matter how great. Large amounts of money are coming into my life now. I am creating my world. I am creating a life full of wealth. I affirm with conviction that I deserve a life full of wealth, prosperity and abundance. I enjoy success and wealth. I feel emotions of prosperity that confirm that I am attracting wealth to my reality. I have decided to think positive so that wonderful things happen in my life. I am a magnet that attracts wealth easily. When I feel prosperous, I attract prosperity into my life. When I feel rich, I attract wealth into my life. My emotions tell me that my thoughts are aligned with my desire to have an abundant life. I feel success and it becomes real in my life. I feel wealth and it becomes real in my life. I feel full happiness and it becomes a reality. Feeling is the secret so today I will feel as if I already have what I want. From now on, I become a good vibrational match for my desires. So be it and so it shall be. Thank you, because I already have everything I want. Thank you, because I am already the person I want to be. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of His bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. Deuteronomy 28:12. This powerful decree must be repeated three times. Doing it this way is very powerful. Do this three times daily, and soon you will see amazing results in your life. Father, you have taught me the power of my words, and I am determined that your teaching will not be in vain. I shall speak good words that produce good things. By the good words of my mouth and the recompense of my hands, I will work your anointing to produce an abundance of good things in my life. Father, my sincere prayer is that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I am not going to be like the fool who tries to reason his way out of your blessings. You say that you take pleasure in my prosperity. Therefore, I will pursue prosperity with all of my heart. I choose to be a profitable servant who pleases you in every way. I thank you for making me a lender and not a borrower. You bless the work of my hands so that I may prosper and be promoted to positions of leadership and authority. I refuse to forfeit my blessings because of laziness and thereby find myself under the boot of the creditors. All that you give me I consider to be precious. I purpose in my heart to be a good steward of your riches. I am determined to be a man slash woman who works hard for his slash her substance. I will take good care of what I have and diligently reinvest in your kingdom. Teach me to train my tongue to speak good things. I am not going to allow my words to be an invitation for violence and destruction. My words shall bring goodness, health, and an abundance of riches into my life. I know that the desires of my heart are fully met when I focus on your kingdom and do things the way you have taught me to do them. I only prosper under your anointing when I diligently set my hand to fulfill the calling that you have placed on my life. Father, I will not allow riches to cause me to become prideful and arrogant. 
I am blessed to be a blessing, not a pitiful miser. My deep desire is to have a good name and to be known to all as a generous and honest person. By the words of my mouth, I obtain and enjoy all good things. I am careful not to speak those things that would strip me of my blessings. My words produce health, joy, love, peace, prosperity, and power in my life. My mouth is stubborn and inflexible. My words are good ones, and coupled with my diligence and hard work, all of my desires are fully satisfied. I will not pursue riches while forgetting the one who gives them to me. Without the Lord, I am nothing. I choose to give up all that I am in order to have all that he is. My life is God's and I will live it in whatever way he wants me to. Money will come to me now in Jesus name. Amen. This manifestation method works almost instantly. Say this prayer faithfully, no matter how you feel. When you come to the point where you sincerely mean each word with all your heart, Jesus will change your whole life in a very special way. You will see. Say this prayer. Three times in the morning. Six times in the afternoon. Nine times in the evening. Do this and you will manifest anything in your life. Let's begin. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self. Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, 
because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name. I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, 
I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Lord Jesus, I come before you, just as I am, I am sorry for my sins, I repent of my sins, please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. The more gratitude I feel, the more aware I am that your provision is infinite. Thank you Lord, because you taught me that gratitude is the great multiplier of all abundance. I love you Lord Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Say this miracle prayer daily and it will change your life. You can expect God's miracles to start manifesting very soon. Jesus Miracles Prayer The Lord has conferred upon me every blessing that heaven has to offer. His eyes are trained upon me, and He relentlessly watches over me to ensure my safety. He is my ever-present helper who supports me in all that I do. His face shines upon me to enlighten my way and show me mercy, kindness and an abundance of favor. In Jesus, He has given me His permanent stamp of approval and has granted me continuous peace. My Father is not a man that would lie to me. He does not shrink back from any of His promises. What He has said, He does. What He has spoken comes to pass in my life. No enemy has any power to hinder the Lord's commanded blessing. Therefore, no matter what my situation is, or who comes against me, I will continue to prosper and reap harvests in abundance. Father, I choose to be a person of my word. If I say it, I will do it. When I make a pledge, I pay it. I will not go back on any vow. I will keep my word. I will be honest in all of my dealings, whether with God or with men. When I give my word, I intend to keep it. The Lord my God blesses all the works of my hands. My walk in this earth is as if I am walking through a great wilderness. The world system is so contrary to my new nature that I am like a stranger in a strange land. But this is not a fearful thing for me, for my Father blesses me abundantly in the land, and I lack no good thing. Father, thank you for loving me. I rest completely secure in your tender care. When my enemies rise against me to curse me and to do me harm, you turn their curses into blessings. You have commanded that I am blessed, and in Jesus, nothing can change that. Father, I thank you that you have commanded your blessing upon me. No weapon, sorcery, or divination can prosper over me. I am under the commanded blessing of Almighty God. I am precious to my Father. He does not allow the curses of the ungodly to overtake me. Instead, He turns their every curse into a blessing. God has commanded His blessing on all of my storehouses and accounts. 
As I follow his ways, they are blessed without fail. Thank you, Father, for the provisions of our covenant. You have freely given me all that I need for success in life. I trust your word. I know that all of your blessings have come upon me, and they shall overtake me. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country. My children are blessed at my side. My production increases unfailingly under your anointing. Everything in my care is fruitful and multiplies. I am blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. When my enemies rise against me they are smitten before my face. They rise against me one way but flee from me in seven ways. You have commanded blessings on all of my storage places and my accounts. They must increase, for you have commanded your blessings upon them. I am set apart unto you, Father. You alone are my provider. You have charge of my life. You open to me your good treasure to give rain to my land and to bless all of the works of my hands. Everything I set my hand to do is brought to unfailing success. I have no fear of any job I am given. Your anointing is upon me. And so it is. Amen. I invite you to read this psalm so you can repeat it every night. If you do this, you will see miracles in your life. This psalm can rewire your subconscious mind to manifest those miracles. As a psalm of protection, it is commonly invoked in times of hardship. Though no author is mentioned in the Hebrew text of this psalm, Jewish tradition ascribes it to Moses, with David compiling it in his book of Psalms. After listening to this psalm for 21 nights in a row, no terror of night shall defeat you. No arrow that flies by day shall locate you. You shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. You shall count gains and not losses. No matter the number of enemies that surround you, they shall fail and expire. You shall fly with wings of God far above your expectation. You are great and lucky to come across this secret. You are wonderful in the eyes of God. This psalm is a favor provoked. If you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you will be favored above your enemy. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge, His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Declaration of Faith I live out my life in satisfaction with a full number of days, and will die at a ripe old age with riches and honor as an inheritance for my posterity. I shall see the enemy fall in a great destruction for the battle belongs to the Lord. Despite the battles that I must endure, my Father showers me with an endless supply of blessings. 
I seek the Lord with all of my heart and place his ways at the center of my thoughts. He has become my refuge and deliverance from every fear. He has made me to be radiant and to hold my head up high. My confidence in him is greatly rewarded, and I am never put to shame. He hears my every prayer and delivers me out of every trouble. His angel has been assigned to me to minister to all of my needs and give me provision and abundance in every circumstance. He encamps about me and fulfills God's purposes for me. Experience has proven that the Lord is good. I take my refuge in Him, and I am blessed. I have placed my steadfast confidence in Him, and I lack no good thing in my life. Even the strongest in the world can become weak and hungry, but I am sustained and given great strength to persevere in every situation. Amen. You will clean all negative energy, envy, obstacles, blockages and stagnation in your life. This is a very powerful prayer by Padre Pio, to cleanse the negative energies that prevent the permanent flow of money and healing. Watch this video until the end and remember that God is life, truth, light, wisdom, love, and grace. Put everything in the hands of God. I invite you to cleanse, Consecrate and protect your life now. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength, so that I will not stop along the way and for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches, I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic Communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus, I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes. I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, to the world to save and set me free. I trust in your power and grace that sustain and restore me. Loving Father, touch me now with your healing hands, for I believe that your will is for me to be well in mind, body, soul, and spirit. 
Cover me with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Cast anything that should not be in me. Root out any unhealthy and abnormal cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection by the power of Jesus' precious blood. Let the fire of your healing love pass through my entire body to heal and make new any diseased areas so that my body will function the way you created it to function. Touch also my mind and my emotion, even the deepest recesses of my heart. Saturate my entire being with your presence, love, joy, and peace and draw me ever closer to you every moment of my life. And Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit and empower me to do your works so that my life will bring glory and honor to your holy name. I ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Watch this important message right now.